everyone. So um, this is the carrot tutorial that um, I had promised that I would do. And so I'm going to start off with what do we grow in? Um, I prefer to grow in baskets like this or you can grow in round pots like these. This is the first that I did. So you see the tops of the carrots are beginning to show. And um, for today's uh, demonstration, I'm just using a small pot like this, but you want to use a pot that is at least one foot um, deep. I like the square baskets. You can actually fit a lot in it. Um, so you're growing medium. I use one part compost, one part um, pro mix, a little bit of topsoil, and I uh, also use sharp sand. I didn't have any sharp sand today, but um, you can use sharp sand as well. Um, what, what you need to do is go through and pick through stones. Now these are fine, but you're looking for bigger stones, um, which I don't seem to have much of. Anything that's going to stop your carrot from growing. So once you fill your container, you want to make sure you moisten first before you plant your seeds so you want to fill it let it drain through properly and then you're gonna fill it up again because to the bottom of your container must have holes or as with my basket i have holes to the side so the extra moisture um sips through well so you want to make sure you um moisten it well just to make sure um it goes down all the way to the bottom you know you can even moisten halfway and then um top up and come back again and moisten the top so carrots are easy to grow once you know the right way to grow them and i've been getting feedback that these carrot seeds in particular um grow actually are growing really really well so what you want to do next is take your carrots, seeds, so these are the ones um, that everybody would have. And now you can just sprinkle them out and then thin them after because they're very um, tiny. The seeds are very tiny. Um, or you can take them, let me just throw out some here. They're also very light. So you can just take them, I'm trying to just one hand it, so bear with me. Take them like this, and you're gonna just put them in gently to the top of the soil. Now, um, carrots need about an inch and a half to two inches of space. They don't require a lot of space. Um, so you can fit like a lot of them in one area. So what I am doing is just dropping the seeds in. You can drop one or two at every um, one and a half to two inches. And because it's a circle, I am just going around the circle and doing that. And then you want to come in here and you're doing the same thing between each one, um, one and a half to two inches. And because it's a circle, I'm doing it that way. If you have a square basket like I have, uh, um, the other one, you can do lines like this and then lines across, one and a half to two inches apart. So once your carrot seeds are in, you want to just, um, you can gently press them in like this. You don't want to cover them up very much. Or you could just take like a handful of Pro Mix. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. You can just take a handful of um, Pro Mix and just sprinkle it over like this. So it's gonna be covered. And then you gently, you gently gonna mist it. You don't wanna. Um, you don't want to have your hose on shower. You want to just mist gently, because if you um, if you 
blast it with water, what's going to happen is your carrot seeds are going to move and fall in the place with the water that's running. So when you have, um, when you ensure that it's wet, you're now going to take a piece of cardboard or a piece of wood if you have. Um, oh, this one's a little bit too big. But the idea is to get your cardboard to fit on top of um, on top of the soil, right? And once it's it's it should make um, contact with the soil. One thing I forgot to mention: gently press like this. So. Um, just to make sure the seeds have good contact with the soil right and um, so you want to take your cardboard put it on top it should fit snug on your soil not like mine and you're gonna wet the cardboard and this is how you're going to um, or a piece of wood this is how you're going to water the seeds for the next few days and on the fifth day you are going to um, on the fifth day, move it and see if and see if um, your seeds began germinating. They should be uh, germinate. Uh, someone told me they started germinating after three days, so which is very very fast for carrots. So I'm believing that these seeds are very good quality. Um, so because it's cardboard and it may blow, you want to just put something um, heavy to hold it down for for a while and uh, once you see them beginning to pop up uh, you want to remove the cardboard or the or the wood if you have a piece of wood and uh, so the purpose of the cardboard is that when, is that when you water the seeds don't get displaced and go all over you want them to remain at a spacing of one and a half to two inches so you get a good sized carrot if they go too close together your carrots are going to be on the smaller side right so this is one I pulled out this morning from this box over here because I planted that behind um, this is my second round of carrots so you see uh, they grow nicely oh another thing carrots um, it is advised that carrots grow best by um, Carrots grow best by directly sowing seeds in the ground. However, um, however, these set, this set over here, which is where this came from, um, I had mistakenly sown carrot seeds instead of lettuce seeds in my um, seedling tree. I was doing it at night and I, I didn't realize. And um, so I had carrot seedlings and I said look I'm not going to waste it and I took them and I I placed them in here so they're much so here have they have very good spacing in here see they're like one and a half to two inches you can see to the base there so they have enough space to grow well and um and they're growing and I'm getting carrots from them so I mean if you if you cannot wait until your seedlings are huge um, just as, as a as a as you see the true leaves come out which is the carrot carrot leaves um, you want to transplant them that's if you want to try that option but the best way to grow your carrots is directly soon I'm not saying it's impossible because I have done it the transplanting so you can try it if you want if you're more comfortable with that way but this is also um, one of the most recommended ways to grow your carrots and that's about it um that's with regards to sowing the seed which i know is a lot <laughs> um so i have my carrots in direct sunlight full another batch there another batch here full direct sunlight and they do very well the uh compost and the promix serves to keep the soil very moist it's dark and moist it does not dry out easily even in hot sun carrots are quite they have a thick uh, bush to the top so they in themselves um, are like a mulch they keep it they keep the soil very um 
very moist once they get bushy like that and um, so you don't have to worry about the dry now just keep your eye on it if it's a hot day um, you want to go outside and before it, um, you want to go outside and make sure um, it's not you know um, dried out because if you allow your couch to dry out you will get cracks the next time that you water them or the next time that it rains a lot and it gets a lot of water so um that's it really um i have not tried growing carrots in the shade or part shade but they seem to like the full sun and they seem to be happy it's very hot and sunny right now once you keep them watered they um they will grow just fine so that's it that's the carrot um tutorial and if you have any more questions you can just let me know or oh, i do fertilize them um maybe once a month i give them a little sprinkle of um chicken manure and that is it because they do need nitrogen as well so that's it enjoy and happy growing